let me go ahead and say, if you don't want to hear what's going on, um, go ahead and fast forward this to like 10 minutes and like 40, 45 seconds. And that way you can get straight into, straight into what I picked up from the store. But if you do want to hear how I got to this point, if you see my title, um, how did I get to this point, then stay tuned. Hey, you guys. So, let me cut this light on. Hope that's a little better. So, y'all, I figured out what I'm going to do because it's going to take us a minute to get fully back on track. So, I'm going to start, I guess you could say like a little series. Now, I'm going to go back and retitle my other one. Y'all know, I think it was September, we had the Hurricane Florence that hit our area, um, where we are in North Carolina because we're on the coast. <sighs> Long story short, we was in, I was um, at Walmart then, and I had to work or whatever. So, by, by the, because I had to work, we, we couldn't go back um, to Mississippi because I wanted to try to get home. That way, we wouldn't have to pay for no hotel or nothing. So I wasn't able to leave because by the time I, I was able to get on the road, they were saying it was already packed and, you know, they had closed some parts off and like that. So going to New York where my husband is from was still out of the question um, due to funds. So we ended up going two hours away inland and we stayed on a hotel um, for seven days. And... Yeah, that was our, like, we, I set myself on a budget. So, our VA payment and my check and everything that was coming in, the hotel room was, um, the hotel room was almost $100 a night. And no more, then you got the gas, then you got the food because you're living in a hotel. Y'all know the whole thing. Plus, we had to pay extra because we have the two dogs. So we had to get hotel friendly, which they bumped it up, especially with them knowing a lot of people was coming from the coastal area. And yeah, so I even had to get my uncle uh, back home. I'm thankful for him. Um, he's like my dad, you know, he was there raising me with my grandma, you know, from day one. So um, he's like my, he's like my, I consider him to be like my dad. So he helped out a lot. Um, um by getting our, our room for two nights it was just a lot and that throwed us behind because right now what we're dealing with is that money was our rent money so we pay 895 dollars a month in rent here so just say 900 dollars a month so um with that and then you got car insurance so we done downsized a lot since that storm since that storm my my husband um we had to give his car back we kept my vehicle and we're down to one vehicle and you still got insurance and stuff like that and like we do uber and stuff on the side but you gotta have um it's it's good to have like your ride share insurance on your insurance account so even that's a little higher um but we need to do like uber and stuff on the side but so you might as well do it the right way. So every month we're paying catch up since then because that's September. So October VA payment, we had to use the catch up September's rent. So that put us behind for no, for October. And now it's November. So November payment VA, we're using to pay October's rent. Y'all get what I'm saying? It like throwed us off. Like so, what I'm gonna do is this hardship that we're going through started when that storm hit and our money for that month, um, the little money we had put back, expenses, expenses. Like that was something we couldn't control or whatever. And we're thankful that our house wasn't damaged. You know, we had um, a problem with the roof. We was able to get a brand new roof through our rental company and the homeowner. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's why you heard me say, we're going through hardship we're going you know because i mean it's like we we get a little bit above water transitioning from military lifestyle and it took two three four almost four years to transition and get up there and then that storm hit and then guess what it throws back but i'm thankful because we do have you know va coming in we do have and like my husband is is um 90 percent um 
with his VA. So that's that's a blessing. I'm not complaining. It's just a task. And so I'm just like going. So now y'all got um because I'm gonna label this um getting back on track after Hurricane Florence. And then I'm gonna put so everything in the videos for as my struggle that's going on now and you know if you didn't get impacted by a storm or you could just have everyday struggles financially these videos is going to show you because it's really to taught me to still when we do get back on track live a lifestyle where it's in case something happens you know like that again or anything so you don't have to be impacted by a storm or nothing like it's struggle is a struggle especially financial especially when you got a family you got kids and stuff like that so um you're gonna see a lot of these videos um but i'm gonna entitle it you know um getting back on track or struck I'm, I'm not sure what i'm gonna put i don't know if i'm gonna put getting back on track um after hurricane florence and then put like what if it's a grocery haul or whatever or the struggle, financial struggle after Hurricane Florence. I'll figure it out for the title. I'm not sure. So, now that y'all know, just got this like the introduction to why um um in the struggle in the struggle mode right now. But we're gonna get back on track. Like I say, still blessings. My husband, you know, um is working now. I'm trying to get back to Walmart. I've been going back and forth with them since I did have, you know, that issue. So they're working with me, trying to get back and get me into a different department so I don't have that high amount of, like, anxiety and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll work out. Get me on the cell floor where I'm constantly moving. I have to be moving. Um, let's see. Then, like I say, the VA, he's in school, so we should be receiving BAH. Again, um, those of you that's probably, you know what BAH is, well, um, it's like basic housing allowance. Like when you're in school, you use your um, Montgomery GI Bill and stuff like that. So we're just waiting on that. So that'll help. So that's, all those things are a blessing. I'm not complaining. But I just want y'all to understand when I say the struggle and the videos that I'm bringing to you now, why they're, you know, I'm serious. Like it's, 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 been, it's been a struggle. <laughs> it was a struggle before, but it's really a struggle now. So, but to me, it's like a game, y'all. It's like a game. Like, you try to see how much you can do with less. And I feel like that's the way we should live our life, no matter if you're rich or whatever. I always have said if I won or inherited or came into a whole lot of money, you will never see me with a mansion. You will never. I promise you, you will. I've never been that type. Because for one, I don't like people all up in my space. You got a mansion and kids. You know how much cleaning you got to do? Y'all don't laugh at me, but yeah, that's that's the way I look at it. And I don't want to be in no filthy house, so get yeah, what? No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I've always been low-key, laid back, you know, chilled, relaxed. But unless I'm having like a panic attack, then I'm just like, <laughs> but yeah, I've always been low-key, not big on having the, you know, my grandma made sure I had the best of things, but at the same time, you know, I was taught well. Like, my thing is, like, kind of like how I shop and stuff for my kids. You know, some people have asked me, like, why why you buying them this brand or this brand or this brand? First of all, I know what stores to go to to get it very low. So, yeah, you may see them with Nike and, and, and you know, Adidas and stuff like that and brand on. But trust me, I didn't go pay $50 for one shirt. I, you know, but... Um, I learned how to do it, but back home, like my grandmother, she paid her and my uncle, they paid full price for stuff because you didn't have that many deals and stuff, you know, back then. But I, since I'm here, um, I learned how to go to Burlington, y'all. Come on now. Um, yeah, so I be like, I ain't go to the mall. Yeah, they brand spanking new. Yeah, they wearing this, but I ain't go to the mall and pay Two hundred dollars for them? No, I did. I carried my little tail right on over to the Burlington and shopped around and threw up y'all to see that and and got them J's for about thirty dollars. Yeah, but this at the same time, it's the quality of them. I know I won't have to buy unless they grow out of them. I know I won't have to buy that a, a pair of tennis shoes in a while unless they just destroy them, which I wish they would. 
um, because of the quality. So I was always taught if you go ahead and spend the money on the quality of something that's needed, like they need shoes, clothes, stuff like that, then it'll last longer than where you paying a few dollars for, you know, the cheaper brand, and then you come back home. Y'all probably already know if you got little boys, you carry your tail to Walmart somewhere. I mean, I'm just saying, like, or the dollar store somewhere, and you get them a pair of jeans or something. And then what happened? A couple weeks later, or maybe the same day, if you had, if you were like my little brother, the same day, like, my girl shopped at, like, Land's Inns and stuff. Like, she ordered a lot of stuff, J.C. Penney's and stuff. That boy still came home with holes in his pants in one day. Who does that? How you, who does that? Like, he, he was my brother when he was smaller. Like, it, it was like... And so my girl started ordering him when she ordered his jeans. She ordered the double knee jeans, the double printed jeans, like from Land's Ends or something. And and he couldn't, you know, he because he, he was so hard on him. So you know, but y'all, yeah, I'm gonna spend ten minutes talking. Um, but y'all can understand it and relate, you know, to what I'm saying now. So with that being said, I did go to, uh, and I am gonna say this about. Scroll to about 10 minutes, 40 seconds, I think. I am going to say this. I'm going to do another clip to add in. So if you don't want to hear me, you can go ahead and if you don't want to hear what's going on, you can go ahead on and fast forward to like 10 minutes and whatever seconds or whatever. Um. So, yeah, I'll do that. So, y'all, let's get into it. I want to, I only have $40. Um, hubby went out and made that with Uber. So, because we was bare, kitchen bare. So, um, I need some greens and stuff. And so, I started, I wrote out my list. I, you, I um, Google everything that you should eat if you have acid reflux and GERD. Because, y'all, them episodes of the fast heartbeat pounding, 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 they not, they not good. And it's because I'm eating things. So, I can't even eat seasoning and stuff. Everything is going to be fresh. And a lot of you have told me that you have. You understand what I, I mean about you can't eat a lot of stuff. So, those of you that can eat whatever, um, you know, you know how to put in. But I'm going to be doing it on the way me and my family have to do it. And I told my husband, like, he's not even supposed to be eating um, certain things. And due to... Um, Let me get strange numbers on this phone. Um, certain things, but you know, y'all know how men is. So, um, yes, I told him either you're gonna eat what I make, because I'm not gonna make different stuff, or you buy what you wanna eat. So he like so I know he gonna eat what I make, and that's better for him. So, yeah, y'all. So everything you see is 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 a way of life and it's how we have to change. Um, y'all know I had already started. It's not even hard. Y'all know I, I hadn't been, hadn't ate beef or pork like last month. I hadn't had beef or pork in over five years. So, and I had my first burger in five years. Um, beef burger last month. So, yeah. And I'm not having any more. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's get into this grocery haul, y'all. All right, y'all. So first, I got a pan from um, and this came from Food Lion, um, because I was on a rush. I got out late, so yeah. So I got a pan. This was like two dollars and change. Ain't that a shame? Once I get back on track, y'all, I'm going to get me like my turkey pans and stuff like that. So I, the glass and the going up, so I don't have to buy these things. Two dollars and some change. But I got one gallon of milk. I mean, not a half a gallon of milk. That's what I got. A half a gallon of milk. Mind you, I have $40 to rock with. I got another thing of rice. You can do a lot with rice. Um, okay, y'all. So, over here, I got three. Oh, y'all, I'm so happy to have this. I got three um, things of, this is spinach. Is this? Yeah, this is my. Yeah, this is my spinach. So I got three things of spinach. So I'm gonna put these back. But the other one is in there, y'all. It's three things of spinach. So. They get my counter all messy. 
for three things of spinach. I got one bell pepper because it was like six to nine cents each. The spinach was like um a dollar twenty nine each. The spinach was dollar twenty nine each. Then I got three things of kale. The kale looked at really no, this is not kale. This is the um leaf lettuce. The leaf green lettuce. Green leaf lettuce. So I got three of those. And the green leaf lettuce, um, uh, they was, could y'all go see some recipes with those? Um, the green leaf lettuce was $1.49 each. I got a loaf of bread. Over here I got, um, Two things of parsley. I'm going to dehydrate this. Y'all going to see that. I'm going to dehydrate it. So I got two things of parsley. Then I'm going to make some kale chips, y'all. I got three things of kale. Let me show y'all how one bunch looks. Pretty. Yes, y'all. My body is, is, is craving greenery stuff. I'm telling you, I can feel it. Um, then I got one bag of shredded cheese. And it's 4.23, almost 4.30 here. Um, so I just got this. This kid's gonna have some sandwiches tonight, um, for dinner. And I'm gonna add probably some sandwiches and chips for dinner. Um, because now my last, my main thing, y'all, I hope he's gonna drive because I told him we need about three, four more, um, of these things. The turkey. Food lion. If you got a food lion, watch your food lion. Food lion got the fresh. This is not frozen. The fresh turkeys. This is 17, a 17.77. That's what it says. So 17, almost 18 pound turkey. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it. But for $8.42. And this is not that spend 35, get it for that. No, 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 no. These are the manager special. There's almost a 20, no, there is a 20 pound they had for like $9 or something. Um, this is how he looks. So, get what, y'all? On a budget. So, we're going to put this in the oven tonight. You can make sandwiches from it. You can make pulled turkey, barbecue pulled turkey. But either way it goes, it's easier to put sides when you have the meat. So, I had some chicken that was on sale, but I had $40. Now, I had two of these bad boys, but I wanted my leafy greens, so I put the other one back. The other one was like for $8.18. Um, but I went on and got this one. Hubby is going to drive, so we're going to get some more, and I'll do a video. Y'all know I got you, I got you, I got you. Um, but yeah, this going in there, that's why I got that pan. Um, and then I'm going to show y'all when we do that, because I got to come up with my own seasoning. I can no longer buy seasonings because what's happening is the way they pack the seasoning they're putting like the central acid and stuff like that in it so it, it can stay fresh and stuff that stuff is not good for when you have GERD and acid reflux so um you know some things we can do at home they stay out of the doctor office and stay out of you know having to take so much stuff and doctors will, some doctors will tell you you know there are simple things, so I'm taking the time out because y'all, it's just not worth me have going through those episodes and putting that pressure on my heart of beating that fast because I want to put food and ain't nobody benefiting from that but the maker and the person in the store that's selling it. I ain't benefiting from the how, how it makes me feel. I don't want to take Pepsi they see every day for indigestion when I can just change more of the way I eat. When I was on my clean, clean eating. Man, was fine. I think I went to the hospital. Um, I was feeling weird, and I thought I was eating too clean. And let me tell y'all this. I went to the hospital a couple years back. I thought I was eating too clean. And it was just anxiety. But at the hospital, they took my blood and stuff to make sure it wasn't nothing low. And the doctor come in, he was like, your blood is excellent he was like whatever you eat i want you to just eat more of it so i think my blood sugar probably was low because i hadn't ate that day 
But he was like, he looked at my husband. He was like, I want her to eat more, more of what she's eating, but more throughout the day. Um, and that was it. That was it. I went, I had an episode earlier this year, like April. It was April. They burnt my grandma, April 24th. April 26th, I went to the hospital. Um, I was just feeling really bad. It turned out it was, it was anxiety, but I had to get like um, saline and um, an IV because I guess I was kind of dehydrated. And they took blood and it was like, your blood is fine. You know, we can't find nothing wrong with you. They made me stay like a couple of hours. So they ran tests. They was like, so you probably feeling weak. And it was, it was, um, you know, these strange calls. It was, um, so yeah. So they was like, and I'm like, I want to keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? If all you got to do is just eat certain things. I'm getting a haircut. If God say the same this week, cause this is bothering me. Um, so yeah, y'all. I'm sorry this video so long, but I had to tell y'all why, 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 why. Um, so like I say, if you struggling and it's hard for you to make ends meet right now, no matter what the case may, may be, stay tuned, share my videos, because y'all, the, tr <laughs> the struggle is real. So you're going to see how we making it until we can get things back. We got so much stuff that's behind that has to be paid, y'all. So much stuff that's behind that has to be paid. And I'm going to tell you how... How bad the struggle is. How bad the struggle is. Like I say, it's like a game. Because we still got our, our, you know, our lights and stuff and everything is on. But we're struggling. We're like, pan, pan, pan. So, it's to the point where I, I went and took my TV. My TV to the pawn shop yesterday. Just to pay my phone, my cell phone bill. Because we have Boost Mobile for, for um, phones. Unlimited, every talk, unlimited everything. Plus 20 gigabytes on each phone of hotspot. And we got four phones. My oldest daughter got one. I have my one phone for my business. Then I have my personal phone. Then my husband has his phone. And we didn't use the phones they were given because they was just like crap. We we came out of pocket. What we got this playing last year, early this year. We came out of pocket and got us some nice phones. But it worked out because all we pay is a hundred dollars a month for you know the four unlimited everything, and then each one of them got the 20 gigs. Of hotspot, which the hotspot works really, really good. But it's like, you know, I know I can go back and get my TV. I know a couple more things, some jewelry, I pawned. Um, I mean, just like I say, I'm letting y'all know, y'all, y'all gonna get it over here, real straight up. You know, to the point. I wish I would have thought when we were struggling when my husband first got out the military, how bad we were struggling. And we done came through so much, like, for us being homeless, like, in our car with our kids, like, um, a couple times. We done moved, like, since 2014, we moved, um, like, three times. And we're finally, 2016 is when, because mentally he didn't want to work. It just mentally was draining for him to, like, be trying to transition. Um, so it was just hard. So... Um, once we got on our, when he started getting his VA in 2016 and we, we were doing good since then. But then, like I say, cause we've been in this house paying $900 a month since 2016 and we've been doing good. And then this storm hit and it counts as I was at a set budget. I was at a set budget. I was just finna start, um, saving. I was just finna start saving. Um, but then it says, so it's like a game. You got to keep pushing. You're going to watch us. You're going to watch us get it together and get it back on track. Um, so, yeah, y'all, let me get off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Um, share my videos. You know, let your people, if people, you know, people struggling. Hey, push it. Hey, tell them. Join the channel. You're going to learn. Different things that I'm doing, especially if you have like acid reflux issues or you have to eat a certain way, y'all gonna know. Cause and let me go ahead and say this: you gonna see me on a video, you wearing the same clothes. That may be because I may go ahead and do a video, and you may when you see it, it may be the next day or whatever. So don't be like, oh, she wearing the same thing she had on another day. Cause I'm gonna record a couple videos per day. So um. 
Yeah, y'all, and I'm not going to change clothes every video if I'm doing it in the same day. <laughs> no. So, um, yeah, y'all, but I know y'all ain't going to do me like that. Y'all ain't going to do me like that. So, yeah, y'all, so let me get off of here and then get ready to start another video. See you guys. Bye.